To write the balanced net ionic equation for barium nitrate plus ammonium phosphate, first we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. That'll look like this. So this is the balanced molecular equation. If you need help with these coefficients here, there's a link in the description to help you do that. Next, we're going to write the states for each substance based on the solubility rules. That'll give us this. If you know your solubility rules, nitrates, they're very soluble. So these are going to be aqueous, dissociate into ions. And ammonium compounds with the ammonium ion here, very soluble. Phosphates, though, they are in general insoluble. And barium phosphate is insoluble. That means it's a solid. And when these two substances react, we get our solid falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So our barium phosphate, it's a solid and it's our precipitate. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. So this is the balanced complete ionic equation. Now we cross out those spectator ions that are on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So in the reactants here, we have six nitrate ions. In the products here, we have six nitrate ions. These are spectator ions, so we remove those. Six ammonium ions, again in the product, six ammonium ions. Spectator ions, cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for barium nitrate plus ammonium phosphate. Let's remove these spectator ions here. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for BaNO3 2 plus NH4 3PO4. You'll note the atoms, they're balanced, and the charge is balanced. Three times two plus, six plus. 2 times 3 minus, 6 minus, so that adds up to 0, net charge of 0. This is neutral here in the products, net charge of 0. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.